We are now in Ipiji. I told you when we are setting up this farm. And uh, it's now, I think, around four months ago. And this is what we have. So uh, I always tell you that uh, in goat farming, what we call profits is this. So you people, these are profits. We invested in the stock, but these are the profits. The other one is an investment. And these are the, the profits of the project. So even if what for what? Even if these kids die and we only remain with 100, it is still profit. If you do 100, multiply it, let's say after six months we are going to sell these animals at, uh, let's say, 400,000. 100 goats, if you sell them at, um, at 400,000, that's already 40 million. Let's say that will be after like uh, nine months. Let's say nine months after the starting of the project. So if we have, uh, let's say, 400,000 times 100, uh, that is uh, 40 million divided by, uh, the, that, that is a year, let's take a year after the investment, uh, 12 months, that means we shall be getting 3.3 million. So with got funding, you can never go wrong. Even if we are selling them at 200,000, that means if we divide 3.3 divided by 2, you find that we are getting 1.2. So it is a business that you can do without you. This doesn't mean that it's you that is supposed to run this project. It is a partnership of you and the worker. So this is how we manage this animal. You see, I'm seated down. That means this place is clean and it is safer. So if you have your farm, you have a kid's pen, and you cannot be able to sit in that kid's pen, that means you're doing something wrong. But if you can be able to sit down here and there is nothing like a smell, there is nothing, nothing like the fleas, that means the condition is conducive for this animal. So we can be able to at least make these animals grow. You get it? So you people, me when I look at these other businesses, let's say if you make a loss uh, for the animals, let's say for the tomatoes, uh, let's say you're doing some other projects like... Uh, maybe banana or whatever, if you get it, if your products come on a wrong time, let's say it is, uh, it floods and there is many matokes, somebody can buy a trap of matoke at 50,000. But me, there is no way how you can say that, Hamis, this time you have a lot of animals and we are buying each animal at 20,000 because there are many animals to be sold. For your information, we have never seen goat's meat going as low as 6,000. By the time the, 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 the goat's meat will go to 6,000, as by now it is 25,000, 20, 18,000, 18,000. By the time it goes back to 6,000, that's when we shall know that the goat's meat uh, has gone down and our animals have flooded. So that means we have to export. But those people who want them from outside, I don't advise the country now to start exporting the meat because people want internet. Just imagine, if somebody tells us that in six months, I want over 10 tons. If it is 10 tons, these animals can be consumed in only two days. You get it? And we don't have. So what does it mean? We need more of this. We need more of reproduction. If you're not doing reproduction, you're not making business. So here, you're seeing these animals, uh, they are one month, uh, three weeks, uh, two weeks. By the time they make six months, you will not believe that these are kind of animals. This is the only way that we are going to fight um, um, uh, high rates of goat's meat, is by having hybrid animals. You get, if you see locals, if you are slaughtering a local, you find out yourself that most of the animals that are slaughtered in our slaughter areas are really more than six years. On average, actually, the animals that we slaughter are six years old, most of the locals. Try to find out by yourself. But if you're slaughtering a goat of uh, six years and somebody is paying you 180,000, that means to get another 180,000, you need more other six years if you're breeding at the same breed of a local. But if you're doing hybrids, like after six months, you'll definitely be able to sell. 
So if you keep it more, let's say for a year, the more it will attain more weight. If you keep it for two years, it will even be bigger. So actually, we sell hybrids from six months onwards. So it depends on your financial status. If you have the money, you don't sell. If you don't have the money, you can sell. So this is what we have, and this is how we manage the kids. I always tell you that kids are supposed to sleep alone. You have to put these grasses, you know, in dry matter. The, uh, the germs don't survive more. So by the time this gets spoiled, we have to change it and put it. I think you can see the whole system. The kids are separated. The mothers are now going to feed. Then after they, they go for feeding, these kids go out and also start to learn how to browse. Then when the mothers come back, they again take milk. But as they are learning how to browse, we also keep water and vitamins in that. Thank you very much. And this is in PG. I told you, you yet to see. So we have not produced. Actually, the biggest number have not yet started producing. These are the ones that came as recessive because we always say, don't stop animals that are pregnant. We try to do a proper selection on those animals that were with uh, early pregnancies. But of course, this is what came with the early pregnancies, and this is the profits that we have so far got it. So, next production, you find that we shall have over 1,000 kids or 100 kids. Some people think that this is not possible. It is possible, and it is done by you, even me. We can as well do this kind of thing. Thank you very much, and uh, let me wish you the best. Bye.